Hi friends, I am Sajina. Welcome to this session. Today we can see immunohematology. Immunohematology refers to the study of blood groups, blood transfusion, blood group antigens, blood group antigen antibody reactions, and blood group disorders. About 14 blood groups have been identified or discovered. Out of this, the two important blood group systems are ABO blood group system and RH blood group system. ABO blood group system, it was discovered by Karl Landsteiner. It was in 1900. He found two types of antigens in blood, antigen A and antigen B. Two types of antibodies are also detected, antibody A and antibody B. Based on the presence or absence of antigen and antibody, human blood is classified into four groups. The four groups are group A, group B, group AB and group O. Here we can see group A, it contains the RBCs with A antigen on their surface and they are possessing antibody B. And in group B, we can see the antigen B is present on the surface of RBC and they possess anti A, that is antibody A. And coming to AB, here we can see the RBC, it possess both a antigen and B antigen on their surface. But they lack anti B and anti A. That is, they lack antibodies. They have only antigens. Then coming to O, the RBC cells, they do not possess A or B antigen. That is, antigens are absent. But they have both anti A and anti B antibodies. As the O group doesn't have antigens, they can donate blood to different groups or all the groups. So, they are considered as universal donors. Then, AB group, it lacks antibodies. So, it can receive blood from all other groups so, it is considered as the universal recipient. Another antigen present on the surface of all RBCs is H antigen. It is a common antigen and the H antigen it is a precursor of all other blood group antigens. Mainly ABO blood group antigens. H antigen is not important in blood transfusion. Another type of blood group is Bombay blood group. It is a very rare blood group and it is identified among the natives of Mumbai. Bende et al. discovered this rare blood group in 1952 and named as Bombay group or OH group. This group fails to express A antigen, B antigen and H antigen on their surface. They cannot receive blood from any other members of any members of ABO blood group system. They can receive only blood from the people of the same Bombay phenotype. Next we can see RH blood group system. In RH blood group system, it was discovered by Landsteiner and Wiener in 1940 and it is a special type of antigen present on the RBC surface of rhesus monkeys. They identified or they discovered the existence of a special type of antigen on the surface of RBC of rhesus monkeys and named as RH factor or rhesus factor. RH factor it is also present in the RBC of humans, human beings and it is not present in all human beings. It is present in some human beings and is absent in others. Based on the presence or absence of RH factor, human beings are classified into two groups, RH positive group and RH negative group. That is, RH positive person, 
they have RH antigen on the surface of RBC. In RH negative person, RH antigen is absent. RH antigen, it has no natural antibodies, but a person, an RH negative person sensitized with RH positive antigen can produce antibodies or they develop antibodies. That is, if an RH negative person gets sensitized with RH positive antigen, his immune system will respond and develop RH antibodies. Antibody once formed, it remain throughout the life and result in many complications such as hemolytic disease of newborn, that is erythroblastosis fetalis and incompatible blood transfusion. That is, erythroblastosis fetalis and incompatible blood transfusion are the two important complications of RH incompatibility. Based on this presence of RH antigen, uh, we can see the blood groups that is A, B, O and A, B. They are again subdivided into A positive, A negative blood groups that is A positive. It is having RH antigen. Similarly, B positive, B negative, A, B positive, A, B negative, O positive and O negative. Next we can see erythroblastosis fetalis. Hemolytic disease. It is a hemolytic disease or hemolytic anemia uh, which is seen in the fetus or neonates and is mainly caused by the transplacental transmission of maternal antibodies. Usually it results from incompatibility between the maternal and fetal RH antigens. That is the mother will be RH negative and the baby will be RH positive. At the time of birth, some of the baby's blood, it gets into mother's circulation and the mother's immune system gets sensitized and start producing anti-RH antibodies. These antibodies, they do not affect the first baby as they are produced after the birth. During the second pregnancy, these antibodies, they may cross the placenta and destroy the baby's RBC. The baby either suffer from jaundice, anemia, lack of blood supply to brain leading to serious brain damages and even stillbirth. These serious damages can only be prevented by a complete exchange of newly born baby's blood. Administration of rogum that is anti-RH antibodies to mother just after the first delivery can prevent this damage. Rogum antibodies, it go and neutralizes the RH positive cells present in the mother's circulation and prevents the production of anti-RH antibodies. Here we can see mother is RH negative and father is RH positive. The baby, it is RH positive and at the time of delivery, the baby's blood it come in contact with mother's circulation and the mother get or the mother's immune system gets sensitized and they start secreting antibodies. During the second pregnancy, these babies RH antigens are readily recognized by the immune system and they neutralizes the RH antigens with the antibodies, resulting in the hemolysis, excessive destruction of RBC leading to jaundice. Here we can see this is the fetus and this is the placenta and this is the maternal circulation. Here the fetus it is having RH antigen. And here we can see during the time of delivery this RH antigens or the RBC of the fetus it come in contact with mother's circulation. This will sensitize the mother and RH specific B cells get activated. This is the RBC with, with, with RH antigen. And the sensitized B cells, they start proliferating to produce plasma cells and memory cells. And the plasma cells produce antibodies. And during the second pregnancy, these memory cells can easily identify these RH antigens. And they start proliferating and produce antibodies. And these antibodies go and bind to the RH antigen of the fetus, resulting in the destruction of the fetus or results in jaundice or results in the condition known as erythroblastosis fetalis. Here we can see how can we prevent or the, here we can see the erythroblastosis fetalis it can be prevented by administration of anti-RH antibody that is rogum antibody to the mother after the first delivery. 
here this rogam antibodies you can see that this is the rh positive rbc this rogam antibodies it first come and bind to the rh positive rbc of the fetus before sensitizing the mother's immune system so all the antigens or all the rh positive rbcs they are neutralized by this rogam antibody so that there is no rh antigens free in the system to sensitize the mother's immune system so there is no sensitization so there is no production of immune response so that the second baby will be safe that's all about erythroblastosis fetalis coming to the applications of blood grouping the main applications are blood transfusion hemolytic disease transplantation detection of culprits disputed parentage that is in blood transfusion it is very important to cross match the blood samples of the donor and the recipient before transfusion to avoid complications hemolytic disease we have already discussed rh incompatible t disease that is erythroblastosis fetalis in transplantation also this blood grouping it is playing an important role cross matching that is rh typing and abo typing is very important in transplantation before transplantation this must be done to know whether mismatches occurs then it is also used for detection of culprits and disputed parentage that's all about immunohematology hope you all understand the session thank you